Hello everybody, my name is Sofin, and today we're going to have a look at the current development progress of WeNet. Today is a time of recording, July 11th, 2021. Progress is going really quickly, and we're really thankful for everybody's excitement and support and everything and contributions. And on this video, I would like to show you where everything is at currently. Now, there is a demo via available Wii Room which I can show you how to access at the end of this video. But for now, we're going to have a look at um, the full thing just to show you where we're at. Okay, here we are on WeNet. Now, there is a news ticker here. Um, <laughs> it's a little slow because internet channel... You, you'll come to appreciate how fast or not fast the internet channel is. But um, here's WeNet, and uh, you can see we're on the main screen here, and you've got four options currently. We've got YouTube, Games, WeChat, and others. And I'll take you through them one by one. And just to be aware before we dive into this, that everything is subject to change. Uh, what you see here does not represent what will be on the final service. There may be more, there may be less, there may be different, you know what I mean? Um, okay, so let's begin by having a look at YouTube. So, YouTube is exactly as it sounds. This is a YouTube front end for use with the Wii. Now, in its current state, it's a little bare bones. However, it does function. Um, so if I do like um, Wii. Okay, let's search this. So when you press go here, it's all done on the server side currently. It searches this using YouTube DL, downloads the most popular result, converts it to a format understandable by the internet channel, and then streams that to you. Now, that is a lot of processing, so it does take a little bit of time, as you saw there. But uh, once it works, it works, as you can see. And you can even zoom in here and watch them add. <laughs> I nearly call it a movie. Come on, say the line. We would like to play. There we go. <laughs> So, you can pause it, you can stop it, you can seek, you can change the volume. There's no full screen currently with this player. Um, we're scouring the internet for flash-based players that work with the internet channel. This seems to be our best bet for now. But yes, you've got the search term at the top here. You've got the title of the video it found, which happens to be the exact same thing I searched apparently. And then you've got the description here, which is just empty currently. No, it says we commercial from Nintendo. That must have been just a dolphin bug. Um, there's no channel author currently or anything like that. But yeah, that is YouTube on the Wii, sort of. Now there is stuff like um, Play On and Tube Fixer for Wii MC. We're not claiming to be the only option, but th again, this is a pretty cool proof of concept to have on WeNet, I think. Of course, the processing takes longer for longer videos, and we currently have no like search results or anything like that that you can choose from. Those would all be... Um, ideal things that we would include in an ideal world. But here is WeNet YouTube in its current state. I may as well go ahead and point out the limitations of WeNet YouTube currently. Um, of course, number one, the processing is very slow. Um, we're working on, you know, having it be more efficient and fast. So that should be pretty easy to get down. Uh, the second limitation would be, of course, that there's no full screen. Third being, you don't have a search results page currently. Fourth would be that video is longer than five minutes. We cut it to five minutes in length because of a memory issue with the Wii. This player, or more accurately, the internet channel, doesn't really do a whole load of unloading to speak of or garbage collection or anything. So something you'll notice as you go through the internet channel is it just gets slower and slower and slower and slower over time. Like, I guarantee you, if I start scrolling, listen to the audio here. You hear how crackly it is? So, in Dolphin, uh, the slowness of the internet channel is reflected by the whole emulation slowing down. But on actual hardware, the UI won't slow down, but the loading of pages and flash content will be uh, really choppy and stuttery. Uh, the solution to that is just uh, resetting the internet channel every now and then. It's not great, but um, listen, we're working around the limitations of the internet channel. 
Anyway, next up is the games section, which was actually um, the second addition to WeNet. So we'll go to it here. So uh, we have a collection of Flash games that we have taken from Flashpoint. Um, we've tried to aim for ones that are popular. You know, we've asked around and we've also let our own interests influence which Flash games we pick here. Um, it's currently just sort of like laid out in this little list view here. Now, the Wii supports Flash Lite 3.1, which I believe is based on Adobe Flash 8. So many things outright won't work. Uh, some things will work, which is, you know, evident right here. And we are also planning to have the games from Wii Playable and Wii Cade accessible from here. So, for example, Ski Simulator, as you can see here, that was one that was made for Nintendo Wii. Um and is now playable on WeNet. So this is just one where you point and you you do the do hickeys. But this has a hilarious hit sound. Watch if I hit the tree, listen. <laughs> also the background is meant to be white. Uh not sure what's going on with that. But you know what? It's here. Um along with all these other flash games. Let's try one that wasn't made for the Wii. Like Windows RG. And you can use, like it says here, use the plus button to zoom in and make the game full screen. <laughs> Quote unquote game. So here's Windows RG running on the Wii. Beautiful. Um, so yeah, the ones that work, work great. But the ones that don't work, won't work. <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, so it is a bunch of trial and error. I would love... Um, if you guys have suggestions for games that you'd like to see on here, you know, relatively oldish Flash games that you're confident should work, um, we will definitely give it a try. And if it does work, it will be added here. We do want to have it displayed in a more compact way. We want to have sections for things like games that were made for the Wii, games like point-and-click ones that work on the Wii, like Pico's School here, and additionally a section for games that are playable with the USB keyboard because you can plug in a keyboard to the Wii and actually use it with Flash content, which is pretty neat. Now scrolling down here even farther, there are some JavaScript or HTML based games here uh, from sites such as 3DS Paint and DSi Paint. These were mainly sought out because for the WiiNet demo in WiiNoma, Flash Player is not available on that embedded browser, and we did not want to have a WiiNet demo without any games. So if we go in here, there's like Dungeon Escape, which is actually running really slowly now because I'm running Dolphin at 4K. <laughs> now, it may seem like a bit of a pain to be resetting the internet channel all the time, and I would agree, but... um what we can do is you can come into here and just favorite WeNet so you can get to it way quicker. Um, let me have a, let me have a try at that dungeon escape one. Now you can see it's a lot faster. Now you control this one by just pointing the Wiimote like it's a virtual analog stick type thing. And uh, I did beat this once. <laughs> have yet to been able to do it again. <laughs> um, it feels like one of those like non-Euclidean places. Uh, I don't have the time for it right now. But you can see they all do work and it is pretty neat. And you can click on these headers at the top to get back. Next up is WeChat, which currently is um, a very basic, it's like, you know, a free Ajax chat box type thing for those of you who are familiar with the web design and whatnot. It's very limited right now. We just put a fresh coat of CSS on there to make it look more modern but we are planning to have our own implementation so we can actually keep the chat moderated and whatnot and not have to deal with that um, but I will send a message real quick here the USB keyboard actually will work with the keyboard on the internet channel on text input fields too okay let's just say hello and send there we go so that's the WeChat. Um, no images or anything currently, but there you go. You can see people talking from the Wii Net or the Wii Net demo. And finally is the others section, which just has one little thing right now, which is actually an official 
Wii Remote testing site from Nintendo themselves, uh, which showcases the different features of the internet channel. You can see how here, if I move the Wiimote around, the coordinates display updates here, and it can also calculate the slant and distance uh, and buttons being pressed. Now the dis the information here isn't updating that often. I believe that is an issue with Dolphin. You can see it does update sometimes. It's a lot better on real hardware. Um, but the internet channel did actually have a whole SDK made for having four Wii remotes connected, all with their own nunchucks, which is, you know, it has a lot of potential for custom-made games for the internet channel, which is something that we would like to uh, dive into ourselves at some point. But for now, here is just the Nintendo official uh, demonstration page. And that is it for WiiNet currently. Now, we are constantly adding to WiiNet. You know, we're trying to make the YouTube client more robust. We're adding more games and shifting over the layout to be more accessible. WeChat is getting a whole overhaul, and we are constantly looking for more things to put into others, such as other websites that are catered for the Wii internet channel. But that is it uh, currently. Now, something else I would like to mention is if we go into the Opera settings here, something that I feel is important to mention is you can actually set the toolbar to hide with a press of that one button. Which means, if you're playing a game on WiiNet here, like Interactive Buddy here, and you want it to be full screen, all you can do is hit that one button and zoom in. I recommend that you press plus to zoom in while your pointer is not at the screen, because then you'll actually get a centered zoom, as opposed to if you were pointing somewhere and pressing plus, then it would zoom in on that part of the page. Now, Interactive Buddy, again, running pretty slowly because I haven't reset it in a while. And now you can see it's running a lot nicer. Again, some issues with the screen canvas sometimes not updating. This does not happen on real hardware at all. It seems to only affect dolphins, so you know what? That's okay. And we have had some testers use this on Wii mode on the Wii U, and the issue has not been present there either. So we're not too worried about it. Alright, for the last section of this video, I'm going to show you how to access the WiiNet demo from Wii Room. So, it's very simple. You just go to the Rooms section here, and excuse any stuttering, I am on Dolphin, my capture card's broken. And then you'll see the Chad Fumi. Turtle himself, holding a WiiNet sign. Give him a click with the A button. And you will be taken to the WeeNet room. I don't know why I'm talking in that voice. Give this little logo a click here. You'll see the default placeholder WeeLink trailer, soon to be replaced with an actual WeeNet trailer. And then you'll see a slideshow here. Doesn't matter which one you are on, just hit end. And then you'll see this. Press yes. And there you are. You are on the WeeNet demo. Did I do a good job for the first WeeNet development update? Come on, April. Without a doubt. Hey, I'll take that. I'll take that. That's high praise. All right. Anyway, that's all I'm going to show you for now. Um, thank you for stopping by, and thank you all for sticking with us. I know it's uh, it's taken a bit to get to this point, but uh, yeah, we hope to have a full WeeNet release in the next couple months. I think it's going to be really cool. And uh, yeah, stick around for more updates. We got a lot coming. And yeah, I'll see you next time. Da 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 da